WSTKS FM Worldwide, Digital Collaborative Learning for the 21st Century. Hello again, everyone. Professor Schwartz here in the WSTKS FM Worldwide Studios. I've got a fresh mug of dark roast coffee at hand, and Onyx the Cat is enjoying his can of Fancy Feast over at the food dish. So let's jump right into today's topic of discussion, digital learning. What is it? The combination of words digital learning can be kind of confusing and even intimidating because there are many different ways of understanding the practice. So it's worth explaining what we mean by the term. Ready to go? Great. First of all, digital learning involves, obviously, the use of technology. At its most basic, the term simply means learning that is facilitated by technology, giving students some element of control over the time, place, path, and, to some degree, pace of a course and their related learning. Significantly, learning is no longer restricted to a particular room number, specific meeting time, or geographic location of a school, college, or university campus. Technology instead functions as the tool that facilitates how students receive content, work together, learn, create, and share knowledge. Secondly, digital learning empowers students like you. You use digital technologies to acquire knowledge or skills of a particular subject. Digital learning provides new ways for students to approach and think about course materials, enhancing their comprehension and learning in the process. Student learning is facilitated by technology and gives students a degree of control over their learning that was not present until the fairly recent past. Put another way, digital learning puts students like you in the driver's seat. You turn the key and you hit the gas. Third, digital learning is dynamic. The process can include a variety of technological tools and practices, including your laptop, desktop, or notebook computer, mobile devices like your smartphone or your tablet, and broadband internet, whether a course is fully online, hybrid, or more traditionally face-to-face. Even more important, Digital learning might also include the use of various online materials accessed using the tools just mentioned, as well as various programs or online apps that enable students to access, develop, create, and share new knowledge in more interesting and dynamic ways than traditional paper essays, quizzes, or exams allow. On a closely related note, digital learning provides freedom to students. It enables students and puts them more in charge of their own learning, as I have already indicated. Whether a course is traditional face-to-face, hybrid, or some form of online, students enjoy greater freedom to learn in different ways and, in a sense, to tailor their learning in a way that works best for them. Digital learning is both learning through the use of technology as well as learning with the aid of technology. Fifth, digital learning is considerably more flexible than more traditional approaches to teaching and learning have been up to this point. Yet another way we might come to grips with the term has to do with the myriad of new ways now possible for students to find, compile, interpret, understand, create, present, and share information with each other, and indeed the world beyond. Indeed, Brendan Gunther, Michigan State University's first chief academic digital officer, wrote in 2018 that digital learning makes it relatively easy for learners to use and modify a, quote, wide range of cultural artifacts. Students might remix a content source to build and demonstrate an array of new knowledge and skills, unquote. Finally, digital learning is more personal than traditional approaches have been. 
In short, digital learning can be understood as a broad range of content, communication tools, curricular models, and services that personalize learning, making that process more active, engaging, and full of potential to improve course outcomes for students to a greater degree than traditional lecture-based instruction. Moreover, digital learning has the potential to impart vital 21st century employability skills that students will be able to use following graduation in the globalized digital economy long after they have forgotten an arcane fact, author, formula, or political theorist, for example. In short, digital learning is both more personal and relevant to the real world of the 21st century than older approaches to teaching and learning. I would argue that while lectures on a limited basis, traditional thesis-based argument papers and exams still have their place, depending on the course, of course, (laughs) digital learning introduces a highly interesting new dimension to the classroom in whatever form that takes which can motivate and engage both instructors and students in ways that we have not experienced before. In short, digital learning provides us with broad new vistas and possibilities when it comes to learning about the world around us. And you will note that I include teachers, instructors, and professors like me as part of that. We are all learning all of the time, whether we are aware of it or not. Keep in mind that there are many different ways to think of our term digital learning. Today's discussion has simply been a brief attempt to help us nail down what it is, how it's different from previous approaches to teaching and learning, and its relevance to real life beyond the classroom, lecture hall, or off campus. Remember that digital learning, through various uses of technology, empowers students, is more dynamic, provides greater freedom, flexibility, and personalization than traditional teaching and learning methods have been able to achieve in the past. Okay, everyone, time to bring things to an end again for today. Thank you for joining me this time and every time. I'll see you in class, online, or during Zoom office hours if you drop by with a question. Have a safe and productive week in the meantime, with special regards from Onyx, the cat what am. (laughs) So long, everybody. You've just heard a podcast from WSTKS FM Worldwide. Digital collaborative learning for the 21st century.